Good evening everyone, this is Bremster and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Colourless But Not Clear by Jeremy Dover. Um, this is an entropic lines puzzle and this one has been suggested to me because it should be an entropic lines puzzle I can do without colouring because often I struggle with colouring. Though I've recently been doing some stuff in the background that I'm not going to talk about yet which should help improve my ability to do colouring puzzles. So we will see how that all goes. Um, what else is going on on the channel? So um, yesterday you would have seen that there was... a three puzzles released instead of one. Um, and I was hoping to do a bit of a warning about that one, but it kind of happened a little unexpectedly and the timing was a bit weird. So the, um, as you know, well, you may not, um, Maggie, who is my mother, and I have been creating puzzles together. And about a month ago, we released the Family Day Out puzzle pack, which was dedicated to my father who passed away earlier this year. And um, we really enjoyed it. And we kept making puzzles, but we didn't really want to keep doing packs because there's a lot of commitment in making a pack. Even a pack of um, four or five puzzles actually requires a bit of effort. But what we thought we would do is just make puzzles as we went along. And then when we had three of them, then um, we would release them just as a series of video. Just drop them all on one day and add them to a playlist on the channel. Um, and people could engage with one or all three or whatever they want uh, based on their availability. Um, and that's what I'm going to do moving forward. There'll be a playlist where we'll drop those and um, full deck and missing a few cards um, have been solving those as they get them. And then um, uh, then when I've been getting those videos, um, the first one was recorded over a month ago. And then when I get enough of them, like I think I'm going to release them as trilogies. And then sort of every couple of months, I'll drop a trilogy of puzzles onto the channel. Um, and yeah, as I said, people can grab one of them, they can grab all three, but the playlist will be sitting there. Um, the other thing that's happening is you can now join my Patreon for free. You will get most of the content I posted my Patreon there. So if you go to my Patreon link below, there will be a join for free button. Um, now, Patreon had said that free members would be able to comment and I would be able to unlock that setting. That's not happened yet, um, where people who've joined for free can comment on free posts. Patreon have been really weird. They've got like examples of what the person who's running the Patreon can do for free members. None of that's available for me yet. I don't know what's going on. It seems to be rolling out in a very weird way. I'm not sure what's happening. Hopefully by the time this comes out, everything is cleared up, but probably not. I'm expecting it to take a few weeks for it to all work if it ever does. But you can join for free, which means that you'll be able to get the updates um, sent to you basically when they come out. So when free posts happen, you'll get an update basically stating that this has happened. And this is where I'm going to try and make it available for when people want to release a pack or they've got important news in the Sudoku community, then they'll be able to notify me and I will be able to make it a post available to everyone. Now, my goal is to have it that people will be able to comment on that and be able to basically use it as a way of communicating as well. Um, but that's not working yet, hopefully soon. But you can join my Patreon for free and when packs and puzzles like this are released and, and everything like that. And if you want to publish something there, reach out to me. Um, I'm happy to talk about pack releases and important news in the community. I'm hoping to get stuff for Sudoku Con, which is coming up, um, posted there. Um, any up major updates, things like Sudoku Pad or Sudoku Maker, I would like to put there, things like that. Um, so that's what I'm hoping to do. Basically use it as a bit of a forum for the community. Anyway, let's have a look at this puzzle, Colourless But Not Clear by Jeremy Dover. So the rules are fairly simple. I actually had a couple of people also reach out after the Ren puzzle. Um, I made a monster um, the other day saying that they found entropic lines a little confusing. And this is apparently a slightly easier entropic line puzzle. So hopefully that will... Um, uh, doing this might help people who are struggling a little with the entropic line constraint. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then we've got these entropic lines. And any set of three sequential cells along an entropic line must contain a low digit, one to three, a middle digit, four to six, and a high digit, seven to nine. Digits may repeat on a line if allowed by other rules. Um, the only one where I could see that being a case is here, but they couldn't be because these must be a different set. But um, 
if you had a long entropic line that could happen and fortunately or in this puzzle they're all either in the same box or they're all too short or the same column but anyway um so basically what that means is if you were to pick any three cells on a line um that are connected so these three cells are connected these three cells are connected these three are connected those three are connected those three are connected those three are connected any three cells that you could highlight as a run of three digits on a line must contain a low a middle and a high digit that's it that's the rules i'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer let's give this a shot now the first thing i'm going to do i, I am going to try and do this without coloring um because I can look at this one and I can immediately see that that digit there has to be an eight. So this is an eight. And why is that? Because of the nature of the line, we know that along these three digits are going to contain uh, one low, one mid, and one high. So, and these digits are going to contain one low, one mid, and one high. And I'm actually going to use coloring to explain the concept here. So let's say this was color, uh, this was entropy green. I don't know, um, I'm going to use green, yellow, and red. Let's use traffic light colors. So one of these is green, one of these is yellow, one of these is red. Wouldn't matter what, which one they were, low, middle, or high. One of them is one, one of them, the next one has to be different, and the one after that has to be the third one, because each run is going to contain the third. If we were to then look at this run of three digits, this did um, this run is got its yellow and red, so it's missing a green, and this run has got its red and green, so it's missing a yellow. So the third digit, um, every third digit along a line is going to be the same entropy. Now that's what made it me able to say that this was going to be an eight. If I get rid of the coloring, because this digit and this digit have to be the same, and this digit and this digit have to be the same. I've already got two high digits, so I couldn't make either of those high because if these were high, they'd be from seven, eight, nine, and I can't do it. Um, so I had to put a high on here somewhere, but the only place I've got a single non-repeating entropy is right there. Hopefully that makes sense. Similarly, um, this these can't be um, four. There has to be a four in one of those two because these two digits are three apart and therefore are the same entropy, but I can't make them four, five, six because the five, six is gone. But I need a low digit, uh, a medium digit, sorry, on this somewhere. So the four has to be in one of those two. Now there is a nine in one of those. I know there's a six in one of those by Sudoku. Uh, there's a seven, well, this is four, nine, and seven. This is a seven or a nine. Uh, let's go center. This is seven nine. This is actually four seven nine because the seven nine is saying that there has to be a seven nine in here. Right. This is cool. This is very cool. However, because I needed to put a medium digit on this line somewhere, this is very cool, by the way, there had to be a medium digit on here somewhere. Couldn't put the medium digit there. Or I'd have another medium digit there and vice versa. So the four is in one of these two. And I know the other digit on this line now is high. So because this is a low, a medium and a high, these two digits have to be low and therefore there are two, three pair. And now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. This now is the eight, which means there's an eight up here. But if that was an eight, this is really cool. If this was an eight, then I'd go three along and this would have to be another high digit, but I can't use seven or nine. So that's not the eight. This is the eight. This is very, very cool. How do you do an entropic line puzzle without coloring? Now, if you used coloring, which as I said, I have been taking some steps to be able to improve my coloring, uh, color solving. Um, if you used coloring, I imagine this would be a lot easier, but I'm taking Jeremy Eddy's word that he's trying to make it easy to do without coloring. There's no seven here because of this seven. There is a six on this line. Now, there must be a medium digit down here, but I don't see why it couldn't be four or five. There must be a high digit down here and the high digit must be nine because these the, this run of three digits must contain a high digit because it's a run of three digits, but it sees seven and it sees eight. So there is a nine down here. This now needs to have a seven on it. Ah, oh, this is cool. So there's no nine here, but this needs a high digit 
but it sees nine and it sees eight. So this has got seven on it, which means that's the four, that's the nine, and that's the seven. This is incredibly cool. Now this needs, it's got its middle and it's got its high. It needs a low digit. Hmm, not sure. This needs a middle digit, which, and it sees four and six. So this has got five and nine on it. The five and nine is not there because of those. So this is a five, nine pair, and this is a low digit. So it's one, two, or three for the entropy. This is now the low digit, and it can't be one or three. So that's a two. And this is a six, seven pair. That is beautiful. The two looks up making that the three, which looks down making this one. This is stunningly fun. Okay. This is really, really cool. Now I need to put a middle digit in one of those and I need to put a low digit in one of those. There's a middle digit in one of those. If that's the middle digit and that's the middle digit, that's six and that is five. Well, like, hang on, I can't put four on this line at all. No, I could, I could put four there. Mm, not sure that's what I'm looking at. What could these be? What's this triple? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is two, four, or five. Well, that's not a four or a two. That's just a five. So that makes that simple. This is two or four. Now, if this is two, this is low and is one or three. If this is four, this is middle and is five or six. That did not help me at all. <laughs> hmm. Unhelpful. These are the same entropy and are not high. Oh, that's cool. Because these are three apart. So for the same reason I've explained, these are the same entropy, but they can't be high because if they were high, they'd be from seven, eight, nine, but they both see eight and nine. So I can't make those. The only high digit available is seven, but I need to put a high digit on this line somewhere. So these three digits need a high digit. I can't put high in those. So there has to be a high in one of those two, but both of those see seven and nine. So there's an eight in one of those two which means eight is in one of these three. This is not low, but there needs to be a low along this line. So either that's low or that's low. This is medium or high. I'm not sure that's where I'm supposed to be looking. I'm sure this would be easier with coloring, but I'm trying to keep the thing up. One is in one of those two by Sudoku. Nine is in one of those, no. What's this quadruple? One, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, and eight. There's no two there. This has not helped me much. I think I looked in the wrong place. One, what's this? Can't be one. Uh, actually, it could be lots of stuff. Can't be two, can't be three, can be four, can be five, can't be six, seven, could be eight. Uh. So in here, either those, if this is two, the, I've got, well, hang on, can these be low? Because these are the same entropy. Right, these can't be low. Because if these were low, they'd have to be two, three. And then I couldn't put a low onto the line. This would have to be a low and it would have to be a one, which it can't be. So if these are low, remember these are the same because they're three apart. These can't be low. These are the middle digits. So those are a four, six. Why am I in the wrong mode all the time? So these have to be four, six, and let me demonstrate why. If they're low, they are two, three. These now can't be low, and where do I put one in the box? The only place I could put it is there, which it can't be. So those are not low. So these are not the low digits. These are the middle digits, because they're not high, because all the highs are gone. These are middle. I've already got five, so these are four and six. These are now from one, two, three. Now the four, six means that's the two. These are actually from one and three. The four six is resolved. This is the six. This is the four. There's no six here. 
uh, this two makes this four, which means along here, this also has to be middle, which means this is five. This is a low digit, which is one, two, or three, and it's not three because of that. This is also a low digit, one, two, or three, because one, two, or three is all that's missing from the row. There is a six in one of those two. These are one, two, three, and six. So there's a three looking down there, which means this is a three, eight pair. Where do I put three in this column? This is a three, eight pair, which means this pair is low and high, which means these are middle digits, which means they are four, six, because they can't be five. And this six makes this four and this six. That four takes four out of there. Probably not the best way to solve it, but it's what I've done. This is now a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, and seven. So this can't be one or two. This is the three, which looks across making this the one and looks back making this the two. There's no three here. This is actually a one, six pair. And the one, two, seven looks up making that the six and that the one. These are now a known pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. These are a seven, nine pair. Now, where does seven go in this row? Because seven can't be in those because I'd break that pair and seven can't be in those. So seven is in one of those two. Can this be a seven? These, well, this can't be low. Still got to put a low in one of those two. If it's there, it's three. I really feel like I'm solving this with a handicap, not doing my high, low, my, my coloring. What are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, five, and eight. And there's no four there. And these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are one, two, six. Well, this is now just a six because it sees one and two. And this is a one, two pair. There's almost certainly more going on. So I've got it all except these lines. Although if I get something on one of these, the whole thing will fall apart. This one, of course, makes this three. Hmm. This is a quadruple. Now I need to put a one or a three on this line because I need a low digit on the line, but I can't put a one there, there, or there, because that one sees that one, that one sees that one, and that one sees that one. But I need to put a low digit on this line. I can't put it there, so there's a three in one of those two. So this is either middle or high. Well, this cell sees a lot. It sees one, two, three, four, five. It could be six. It also sees eight, nine. So this is either six or seven. That's cool, which means this is a one because one can't go in those, can't go there, and it can't go there. This is just the one. So there's no one there. In fact, there's no one here because of the one down here. This is just the one. So this is six or seven. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. These are six, seven, and nine. There's no six there. There must be a nine in one of those two which means there's a nine down here. Well, there's a nine in one of those two by Sudoku. I'm still trying to do this without coloring and I really feel it would be faster without, but I'm enjoying the challenge of doing this without the color, the colorless, but not clear. This line, I still know I need to put a low, a medium, and a high. So this is medium or high. So it's four, five, or seven, or eight. Uh, it's not four. So if this is medium, it's five. Yeah, not sure. If this is low, it's three. If this is... There'll be Sudoku I've missed, won't there? 
There's a three in one of those. Hang on, that's important because there's a three in one of those. So I can't put three in any of those and I can't put three in any of those. So three is in one of those two and three comes out of those. Seven is not there or there. So seven is in one of those three. Does that do anything? I'm not sure. This is seven. This is six. I then need to put a high digit on one of these. No. Four is in one of those two. Two is in one of those two. If I could narrow three down, if I could get three out of there. If that's three, that's three. That's three. Oh, this three made this two. Which made this eight. Holy cow. Which made this four which means there's no four or eight in there. This is a two, three pair, which makes this seven and this two, which means this is six, which means there is no medium digit on this because this is the medium digit on this line. So four is now in one of those two because I can't put a medium on the line. And there's no four there. That four knocks it out of there. This becomes the four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight. Put an eight in there. Now, the high digit on this, ooh, not sure. That could still be a nine. So there's a three. So if this was low, it's three. If it's high, it's eight. Giving me a three, eight pair. So this is five or nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is five or nine only. But this, if it's low, it's three. If it's high, it's seven or nine. And it's not seven. This is a three or a nine. And this is from three, five, eight, nine. And it can't be, well, this is a three or a five because it can't be eight or nine. What's going on? This is confusing. I like it though. If this is nine, this is three. Hang on, three has to be on the line. That's just a five. Because this is three, five, eight or nine. It's eight or nine, but I have to put three on the line or there's no low digit on the line. That's just a five. So that's the nine, that's the five. So that's the nine, so that's the three. And I've, hang, no, wait, I made a mistake. I made a huge mistake here. Yeah, this is the eight. I used the wrong digits. I absolutely used the wrong digits because there is a five in one of those two. This is true. But these are three, five, seven, and nine. Now, I can't put five on the line. It's not eight and nine. It's seven and nine. There's no seven in either of those. There's no seven there. This is a seven. This is a three nine pair. That's the five. There you go. That was the correct way to do it. This can't be a nine because of that. That's the three. That's the nine. Correct way to do it. As long as you do your Sudoku correctly, you will get better results. That's the eight. That's the three. The five looks across making that the nine and that the five. I'm sure people were yelling at me going, Bramster, don't do it. I, I did it, but I fixed it. I got knocked down, but I got up again. Um... Now, the 7 takes the 7 out of there, which means this is the 7, because this could never have been the 7 because of the 7 X-Wing. Um, and the 6 looks up making that the 9, which makes that 7 and that the 9. The 7 looks back making that the 6 and that the 7, which I could have got as soon as I got these, because these had to be the same entropy and those had to be the same entropy. Now, this is a triple. And 
I can't make that a low digit anymore because of that one, two, three. This has to be the low digit. The two looks now making that the three. This now has to be the one because it's the only low digit available. The eight comes out of here. This becomes four, five. It's not one. The four, of course, makes this five and this four. These now are a low and a high digit, but I know this triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. Now, I have to put a high in here, or I've broken the line, so that's not the 8. The 5 makes that the 6, so the 6 comes out of here. This is a 5-8 pair. This 1 looks back making this 2 and this 1. The 2 looks across making this 3 and this 2. The 5 looks across making that the 8, and I take the 8 out of both of those. The 4 makes this 5 and this 4. The 5 looks back making this 8 and this 5. These digits are now fully resolved. But let's put this one in first, put in the 2, and now I can resolve this. I need to put a 3 in here somewhere. Those two 3s means it's there. I need to put an 8 in here somewhere, but that 8 means it's there. And then I finish up with a 9. And that is the solution to Colorless But Not Clear by Jeremy Dover. A puzzle that I believe he created for both me trying to being able to solve an entropy puzzle without using coloring awesome though i would actually have just used tricoloring for this i have no problem with tricoloring it's when i have to layer coloring but if you're trying to get used to entropy puzzles this is a really good one this was a phenomenal introductory entropy puzzle that you could do without coloring that's stunning and if you used coloring i imagine this was a gas level puzzle no problem. I imagine a lot of people are going to come around and say, I solved this in seven minutes. Why did you take so long? And I imagine a lot of it came from the fact that I was trying not to use coloring. I was trying to see what was presented. And that was absolutely stunning. I really enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun. Thank you, Jeremy Dover, for the puzzle. Um, yeah, really, really cool. Um, I do love the entropic line constraint. When it was first introduced to me, it was like, it blew my mind. Um, I think it was actually a quadruples puzzle in March of the Quads where I first saw it. And it was like, what is this magic? Um, yeah, very, very cool. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, and as always, good luck with your solving.